view right there ladies and gents how the hell is it going it's a little bit of goozy time just heading over to get myself a late lunch over at Riker's Cafe usual sort of route country lanes there hopefully it'll be nice hopefully there won't be too much traffic well there's been a little bit so far but yeah time to get some snacks get the energy levels up I'm a growing lad don't you know and keep that boy from a side down so as you can see I'm wearing my new Oxford hoodie biker hoodie I've also got on my uh, new uh, former motorcycle casual boot things which are very comfortable just giving them a little try out seeing what they're like and so far I'm pretty impressed so yeah I'm really impressed with the hoodie so far it's uh, really nice and comfortable it's very light so it's not heavy like a leather jacket can be and stuff like that and because it's not black it means it's not quite as hot when the sun shines on it which is quite good for summer I'd quite like a, a lighter one still but um, I think the bugs and stuff will show up on that too much <laughs> um, although it is machine washable so uh, yeah you just take the armor out and bring it in the washing machine um, deflied sorted it's also got little hoops around the base of it that strap around your belt on your jeans which is quite a nice touch which stops you riding up when the wind sucks it up behind you because of turbulence and uh, also hopefully will stop the jacket riding up if you do happen to come off it seems really really well made it's got a pocket in the back for a back protector uh, it doesn't come with one though uh, I'll speak to Sam and or Sean at uh, Conqueror's Apparel and see if they've got one for it and I'll maybe order that because uh, it's, the whole point of wearing this is that it's giving me the protection of of a, a bike jacket with the comfort of a casual and the look of a casual so I still want that protection in there so we'll be looking into doing that and the boots uh, they are supposedly waterproof I've not tried it in a thorough downpour yet to know if that's the case or not um, but the rest of my kit at the moment I don't believe is waterproof at all so uh, yeah I think this uh, this jacket is a bit spray proof but I don't think it's going to last very well in a deluge um, but yeah the boots are really comfortable nice for walking around in they are um, better on the bike than they are on foot but they are still primarily a bike boot uh, they've got like um, just on the inseam or the insole it, it just the way it cuts in I find that just a little bit uncomfortable when walking but not really not enough to put me off um, going for a, a stroll around a castle if I was to visit one or something like that you know, once I've had them for a season or a little bit more um, and I've been able to assess how durable they are how well they stand up to actual riding um, and wearing I'll do a review of them I guess it's all very well these uh, big companies doing gear reviews of things when they're brand new but unless you've actually uh, put them through their paces for a little bit it's all a little bit unrealistic isn't it and uh, although I, I do generally as a whole really rate Oxford products I have been let down by a couple of them in the past so I am definitely interested in seeing how these stand up and I very much hope that they do carry on in the same vein as the, the other products that I've been pleased with when you're spending your money you, you, you want to get value for money don't you I've not had any former bike clothing before so I've no idea how well that will stand up but I've heard good things about it and a lot of people who have their adventure boots really rate them so I know they're probably going to be good stuff I'll be interested to see how they stand up too I'm not meaning to be pretty much the Oxford boy though um, although I do have some Oxford jeans ordered which Conquers Real Proud are going to get to me as soon as um, as soon as they get in the country they're a new line that Oxford are doing so um, yeah I don't think anyone else has been able to try them out yet either so I'm quite looking forward to seeing how they fit what the finish is like on them and if they stand up to daily abuse but I think a lot of people have been happy with the Oxford motorcycle jeans which is reassuring I do very much like how this bike develops its power and torque a few people have criticised it for not having enough go and uh, I don't really agree with them on an adventure bike or a touring bike you don't need masses of power um, you want a really strong mid-range and uh, lots of torque and a smooth engine and this has got that the only times this feels like it's struggling for power and it's not struggling it's just you have to think about what you're doing a little bit is when you're doing high speed overtakes and if you're doing high speed overtakes do you really need to be doing them when you're using this bike for what it is really designed for 
which is going off exploring the world you should be enjoying the world so yeah this bike actually does have the go it needs as an adventurous motorcycle to get you places where you need to go without being scary when you get off the beaten path this is me who wouldn't do the uh, ABR trail <laughs> on the tyres it's got but that was because of the tyres it's got and the fact that I didn't have the right kit <laughs> nothing to do with the bike <laughs> any housels if you like this video and you haven't done so already why not click that subscribe button and again if you like the video why not give it a little thumbs up if you didn't you can always give it a little thumbs down that's all cool all cool in the school but whatever you do please do drop in a comment i love hearing from you anyway you ride safe take care and i'll catch you all in the next one bye bye for now keep that bike from down you know you gotta keep that bike Rubber side down.